it has been a very challenging uh, to change the mindset of people who only know one way of life. Um, all their lives they have been exposed to violent behavior and solving their issues through violent means. And so um, it's not an overnight fix, but when we bring them to the table and we allow them to express themselves, we, we try to open up their minds to focus on their families. Um, one of the key issues we, we try to bring to them is love. Do you love the gangs? Do you love your friends more than you love your family, your son, your daughter, your mom? When these questions are posed to individuals in a humanistic way, it allows them that moment to think really and truly what it is that they want. And these are the psychosocial type of interventions we're looking at, promoting pro-social behavior. You know that there is that stigma in terms of the relationship with the police and the communities. So we have managed to bridge that gap with um, engaging community leaders and engaging those in the community to look after their own community, get them trained. We've been working with the Department of Youth Services, especially in the Community Rehabilitation Department, going into homes, finding out more from these individuals what their issues are and how it is that we can be of assistance instead of judging them whenever there is a crisis and what we have noticed is that there's a willingness on the part of the community when there's that type of outreach.